Everybody, and welcome back to Falcon Place Rimworld. Uh, we got the raid about to come down on us uh, soon enough, I want to say, probably. A little bit sooner than later. And other than that, we have our guys still moving. So I'm not going to have them set up just yet. I'm going to have them continue doing what they're doing. But soon enough, we'll definitely start setting up for that raid. Uh, by the time that they come around, we might have more than enough time to actually set up. Because they still have to go through, basically, this area over here. It's not gonna, they're going to knock down the door too fast. So um, as long as my guys don't get too out of position, we should be okay with this. So... The Raiders are there indeed done now, so <laughs> never mind. I guess that was going to happen a little bit sooner than I thought. Um, there's some funky stuff happening over here. I'll explain this after this raid, though. Um, as you can imagine, I'm going to probably extend this to make more rooms downward. I have to probably set up some stone walls to kind of uh, fix what I broke earlier, because I'm an imbecile. But uh, we'll still fix it up for sure. Uh, really quickly, though, let me um, militarize everybody and send everybody out through here. Jesus Christ, we have like such a huge militia. Look at all this stuff, man. So many. Local girls gone mad. Alrighty, and maybe the raiders will fight the squirrel off for us. Come on, squirrel. I got I got <laughs> I got hope for you, squirrel. You will deal with those raiders for me by yourself. Okay, so um I do have to extend my um I guess bunker area a bit further as well, since we have so many people now. It seems like a lot of them are just kinda hanging out. So uh Guinea, you go over here. Uh Nathan. Oh, by the way! I forgot to mention, last episode we did a few renamings. Uh Will and Weedle. They have now been renamed to uh I think Weedle, Will was the knight, right? So Eduard Rosenberg is now the knight. So Eduard, welcome to the colony. And then uh, Weedles, I think, was the technician. It was either one or the other. But either way, uh, Nathan Holtertoff is now one of those guys as well. So Edward Rosenberg and Nathan Holtertoff. Welcome to the colony. I've named you Edward and Nathan because, you know, otherwise your names are too huge, man. So <laughs> unfortunately, we, just, we don't go by surnames. It's just first names around here. So welcome to the colony, guys. Um, you guys already have uh, things to do, right? So yeah. So, um, those have been renamed as well. Nathan, uh, Nathan, ADD. ADD, let me have you hook up right about through here, bro. Swag is actually a good shot, and he's got that M4A1, which I'm actually really interested in checking out. So, you go through there. Uh, Gino, Gino, who else do we have here? Commissar, let me hook you up right about through there, bro. Funky, Nathan, Edward, you have the long distance shot over here. Uh, Ida Bolt, Mangina, Punisher. Key. I guess I'll get hooked up right there. Batman's got the laser gun now, so let me have you hook up in the front. And Jeff, alrighty, good. So let me just get Funky over here, this guy over through there. Gino, what the fuck was that? Molotov cocktails? Yeah, come at me, bro. See what happens. Alrighty. Damn, good luck trying to set that on fire, man. Alrighty, so, um, Slave Trader has left the comms range. That's good. We have nobody to sell, and we bought all the good people anyway. So these are all the extra people that we have back over here, as you can see. So I'm gonna set up the same routine I did it last time, which is actually just, um, probably having them hide back through here, and the moment that they've weakened up, I'll send these guys and do a little flank tactic once again. Yeah, you set that, that thing on fire. Look, you even set, um, Nunes, the, the Marine, on fire as well. Good job, Nunes. Yeah, that's the guy that I wanted my base, apparently. The guy will set himself on fire trying to set a door on fire. Soldier needs break. Who is this? ADD? Well, you know what? You need to relax, man. There's a raid about to come down. There's no time for breaks. Oh, these guys are just catching fire over there. Good. <laughs> Go ahead. Keep tossing those Molotovs. See if, see if I care. Okay, here they come inside now. Alrighty. So let's see what happens to these guys now. This man, Ian, is just completely on fire over here. And Selma, Selma the O. Alrighty. Alright, so Selma is now done. Uh, Nunes is on fire, and he's uh, hopefully he's not catching like a big ass like volley of array of bolts around here. <laughs> okay, so he's dead. Here comes Sparkles, apparently from My Little Pony, just kind of hanging out here. I think that's My Little Pony character. I don't even know. I'm not familiar with it. Sounds like a My Little Pony character though. So there goes uh, quite a few of them. Now we have. Um, Three, four, four people just still hanging in about. Five with uh, Pete all the way over there. Good luck, Pete. Alrighty, so if that's going to be the case, um, let me weaken these guys a bit and then I'll have my guys start doing the whole flanking routine again. I'll probably do that now. Oh, shit. What is that? An MA5D? I see. <laughs> that was a scary fucking shot, man. Both of these guys have some pretty crazy weapons I've never seen before. So, oh, you see the, did you see the laser gun that uh, somebody shot there? That was pretty cool. It was like, actually red. Uh, so how are you doing here, uh, Swag? You're kind of a little bit, uh, damaged there. Let me move you behind the, uh, the rock there. Not, not Dwayne Johnson the rock, just literally the rock. Alrighty, Ian's about to go down. There, he is down now, and now let's actually just go, and I think we could definitely send a little assault team in there. So Mangina, 
Go work over here. I had a bolt. You go work over here. Oh, man, Ricky. Why are you low on health, man? Hmm. Ricky, let me actually just have you sit this one out. And then you go down through here and do some melee down through here along with Ryan. And then Punisher. Let me use those crazy fist of you to kind of uh, fuck around with Severin from uh, Harry Potter over here. Go ahead and take uh, ADD 98 with you. He's a wild guy. He likes to fight people all the time. Okay. And now, these guys over here could essentially unmilitarize themselves and go work on some crazy stuff, hopefully. Don't shoot at us! Don't shoot us, okay? And then, let me have you guys, if you can, go outside, and then you could just unmilitarize. Okay. So, Reni, Reni the chef should be go to, going down soon enough, and then we have these two guys coming after this dude. Okay. I think we'll be fine. Oh, we'll definitely be fine. We shouldn't be able to get any... We shouldn't get any of our guys injured too badly, I'd imagine. Uh, Swag, please don't do that. Swag's actually pretty hurt, so Swag, you go inside. Not because, uh, oh, Swag's actually already unmilitarized. He's just trying to shoot and give us a hand over here. Alright, Swag, thanks a lot, but we don't need that right now. Uh, Funky, let me go and have you fuck around with Pete the subject, along with Jeff as well. Alrighty, and how are we doing, guys? Come on, come on, come on. Let's get those knockouts ready. Alright, so that's another person down. Ida Bolt, let me have you go after Pete as well. Mangina. Mangina's kind of a bit hurt, right? So Mangina, you go back inside. Where's Pete going? Pete's just running off over here. Stop being a coward, Pete! Stop being such a coward! Stop trying to find a... <laughs> He's fleeing now. Okay. And how are you guys? You guys are still fighting over here, right? So let me have just Jeff take some shots at you. Funky, do the same thing. And then Ida Bolt, do the same thing. And then you guys could pretty much get unmilitarized. Same with Mangina. And these guys are still fighting over here. Pete's gonna probably get away. I don't think we have a good chance of actually catching up to this guy anymore. Nah, he's gone. Good shots though, guys. Alright, run off. And we killed this guy over here too. Okay, good. So, you know, we gave it our best. Unfortunately, we got no knockouts this time around, but... We tried, man, we tried. I really want them to implement some sort of like, you know, like a melee, like a melee specific weapon, I guess. Just to kind of like uh, give you a better chance of knockouts when you actually take the risk. Because, I mean, believe me, going up front and dealing with raiders up front is really risky, man. It's a really risky situation, which um, I guess should be rewarded accordingly so, I'd imagine. Get these weapons out of the way there. So of the way. Alright. If mean, you guys remember my last colony, I had like so many issues all the time where like a lot of my guys were always injured because I was always trying to essentially get knockouts. So I, I think that, I, I hope that they add soon enough some sort of melee specific weapon that what it does is that when you use it, it has a higher chance of knocking people out than say like, you know, just uh, melee attacking with, like, with your fist, I suppose. Uh, it just makes it harder for, um, it makes it easier to knock them out. I mean, obviously I don't want to make it too easy where every raider that you run into you basically melee and like knock out. But just like a little bit of a higher, like I guess, recruitment chance or knockout chance would be pretty cool. But um, I don't think it's really that's something that's hard to actually implement as well. However, one way or another, you know it's going to get abused either way. Like people will find a way to abuse it and like, you know, make it so that, you know, they have like 170 colonists like by this third raid or something. Who knows? Mm. But probably not that crazy, but you know what I mean. Solar flare. Okay, cool. Whatever. So let's see, how are we doing here? Food? Uh, kind of really not the best spot for this uh, flare to kind of act up since we have uh, <laughs> not the best amount of food right now. But okay, uh, still good so far. What do we have here? Trade ships, industrial trader, okay. Uh, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan is who I need dealing with that. Ryan, let me move you away from that. Oh, you can because of this goddamn solar flare. That's cool. Uh, three colonists are idle. Must be nice. How are you guys idle? Alrighty, so let's go back into... Alright, so here's... Let's actually try to fix the error that I committed over here. So um, if I am right, if I'm a smart man, I have to say that we have to mine down. So this is going to be the room, right? So I need an entry doorway right about there. And then we also need this mined out. Right? And then we need this mined out along with this and wait a minute nope a little too much there we need uh one one and one right through there okay 
that'll make it the entry, right? And now the other thing we have to do is actually move the hallway down a bit. So it's obviously going to go down through here. I want to say, right? Because it's going to be, it's from the doorway, it's going to be one and two, and then wall, right? So doorway, one and two, and then wall. So we need it. Yeah, that'll work out pretty well. And I will rectify, I will fix this by adding some stone walls wherever, um, basically, there's going to be, like, empty gaps at now. So, like, right about through there and whatnot. So, I mean, I'll fix it, believe me. It's going to take a little bit of stone walls, unfortunately, but it's not a big deal. And research is completely done! Yes! Alright, so, Ryan, you could say goodbye to researching stuff until another good mod comes around. And you are free to go, man. And now, you could probably give us a hand, uh, crafting, growing. Uh, let me have you be a grower, I suppose, uh. Really not much else. I mean, if you want to do some cooking, you can, I guess. I could probably use another cook. Maybe. I'm um, growing. Growing. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Let's make this like a two, I guess. Cooking one. Crafting two. You'll be kind of like the uh, all-around jack of trades now, essentially. Okay. So, um, we are still hauling these bodies off. All right. Oh, yeah, and the other thing I needed to do was actually set up this incinerator room since uh, we have no more room in there for these bodies. So... Um, I guess we could probably set it up, I would say. Um, uh, I might expand this prison room a bit more. So I'm going to probably expand it like so. And then the incinerator room could be like entry right here. And then we could do like, I don't know. Just about that big. Hopefully it doesn't cave in on us. I don't think it should. I could probably expand it a bit more without an actual cave in, so... And if anything, I could probably even put some stone pillars in there to kind of uh, make it a big-ass room without a chance of cave-in. So, we'll definitely have that going on right now. Uh, we have no lights, and we do, however, need a few new rooms. That's what we're building right here for the guys that we just recruited and whatnot. Um, so far, so good over here. Alright. And now, the other thing we should do is put up some stone walls through there. And then, stone wall there, stone wall here, and stone wall right there. And this is going to cost a bit more, unfortunately, but I do need to set up some stone walls to kind of cover this up now. Um, I don't want it to be a complete mirror image, though, so I might leave this empty. And, I don't know, we could probably put some equipment racks in there. Just kind of give it, like, a little bit of a different feel to it, I guess. And put some doors right through there. And power conduits. Bring this sucker down through here. Alrighty, and we'll put that through there for now, and then set up some furniture. How is our stock looking? Kind of alright. And royal beds, okay. And then switch this over, and how is this going to go? It's going to go the same way over here, so boom. Oh, up, 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 don't build that, don't build that. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Uh, a little bit more further back. There we go, there we go, and there we go, excellent. And put some potted plants right about through here. Here, here, and there. All right. And the power condoms built already? Damn, that was fast. Alrighty, and so we got red over here. And we have, uh, let's see, what else we have? We have green, blue. Okay, um... I guess we could probably make this entire section to red light district, and this could be, like, blue or something. Who knows? Uh, kind of get, like, a little bit of a... I guess... Blue will go good. How about we make all this red and then we make all this blue? Kind of give it like a little differential type of feel. So let's go with blue standing lamp right about through here, I want to say. Right? We have a one, two. Yeah. One, two. One, two. And one, two. There we go. Okay. Food, um, a little bit better. A little bit better. It's uh, food in the hoppers, which is always good. And as soon as those bits are built, I'll pretty much cancel out these sleeping spots for those guys. And there you go. So this is going to be blue now. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And there we go. So now we could definitely sell off this, deconstruct this, and deconstruct that. Alrighty. You guys have your beds now. Excellent. Blue lights and everything. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, sweet. So, uh, yeah, I kind of want to make all this red. We'll make all this blue. And then we can make this, like, green over here. You know, kind of give it, like, a different type of feel. And at the same time... It will kind of keep my OCD in check, where I'm just kind of like, Oh, colors everywhere, man! It's a little bit confusing and whatnot. So I guess that'll work out in that part. Um, incinerator room is completely done now, so let's actually go ahead and... Put up a metal wall. I would say... 
Or not a, oh, no, no, not, not a, oh, I'm, I'm an imbecile. Cancel, cancel, cancel. We need a metal tile right about through here. And then... That's how it worked last time, right? I don't think I need metal tiles inside, right? I don't think I do. Let me just do it this way, though. And then... What I'll do is um, set up the dump zone inside over here, dumping stockpile. Through that'll work out, and then we'll make this, let's see, debris, nope. Nothing but corpses, we'll make this important. Corpses, and it'll be nothing but humanoids and mechanoids. Alrighty. And then we can now, essentially, go ahead and, uh... Delete stock, delete this zone over here. Good, and that'll get moved into there, and then we'll have a nice little incineration type of thing going on over there. So Moldad is over there moving people already. Good job, Moldad. Good job, everybody! Look at all these guys on par with this shit. Look at that. Man, you guys are savages. I love... Uh, you guys left one. Out of both, can you, um... Oh, Funky? Where's Funky at? Funky, you're, you're late, man. There we go. Excellent. Traveler named uh, Sliled is passing by. She is a military commissar. Oh, nice. Alrighty, Sliled. Fucking <laughs> hard-ass name for me to pronounce over here, man. Mangina, let me go and have you militarize for a second and have you take care of and uh, arrest Sliled for us. It's gonna help us out a bit, another commissar. Another good shot. Hey, look, we expanded this area a bit too, so I could probably move the beds around, but not really a big necessity just now. Um, alrighty, so bodies are in there ready to get dealt with, I imagine. And if that's gonna be the case, then, um, where is, uh, I need somebody to come and handle this for me. Swag, uh, Swag's got a good weapon, so let me get Gino the miner. Gino, you're gonna be our, kind of like our genocide guy for now. And you're gonna go and grab yourself a Molotov cocktail. And you're gonna come up over here, sir. And, uh, oh god, we didn't build the... I'm a little bit worried that we didn't actually build the... No, don't, don't drop anything. We haven't built the metal tiles required for uh, the fire not to spread, so for now I'll hold off on that. Gino, let me have you just hang around for a second. Uh, somebody's gonna come build these tiles, right? Mangina, you could go and free yourself up now. And then Sliled, let me have you hook up for recruitment there, friendly chat, yada yada yada. Good to go. Food is uh pretty good. My hopper's actually filled. Just good. You know, all this extra meat that we have here, probably I could use it for... You know, make it, like, more of a... Yeah, you know what? Let me actually, if we can... This hopper. Make this hopper, uh, meat. And same over here. There you go. Excellent. And then we'll put that as meat and then we'll carry that over. Alrighty, excellent. And we failed to recruit that person. Hey, what about the uh, metal construction over here? Who is... Oh, low metal. Oh, we have no metal, dude! Oh, shit! No wonder! Wow, I have never run out of metal before. <laughs> this is actually new. Alright, that's gonna be the case then. Um, we need to, honestly, start mining this area over here because there is some metal for us. Wow, that's crazy, man. I guess I've just been building and building and not realizing that my metal supply was actually running pretty low. I'm pretty sure everybody else was like, No, Falcon, you're running out of metal, you idiot! What the hell are you doing? And I'm over here just kind of like, do 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 Another day, another day. Um, alrighty, so we have metal, though. We we have ways to get metal. We could mine out metal. We could, um, use debris and melt it as metal. We got different ways to get metal, guys, don't worry. As a matter of fact, it's probably in our best interest to kind of start doing that. Might as well use the features that we have here, right? So let's haul off, um... Let's haul off all this shit here. This is all debris. So, since this is all debris, we'll basically go ahead and um, have this set up. And this is our blacksmith workplace, and that's our stone cutter. So, this is basically for debris, if I'm correct. Yes, slag debris. Right. And then this is for rock debris. Okay, good. So, um, swag's about to have to do some work really soon because uh, we will be doing some actual smelting of metal soon enough. I mean, I don't necessarily have to do that just yet, but it might as well do it, I mean. Uh, that rock debris is actually pretty fucking nasty to look at anyway, so... Let's continue mining down through here. Get all the sweet metal going on. There's actually a little bit of metal behind the comps. Oh yeah, you know what? Deconstruct this shit. This is no longer needed. We could actually get some better food supply going on soon enough. Uh, buildings. Uh, go ahead and... No, we need furniture for this. Hydroponics? Hydroponics! Bionics! Uh, let me set you up through there. Let me go and deconstruct this momentarily. And then we'll put up, uh, hydroponics right through there. Alrighty, good. So now we have a pretty nice little section for hydroponics, indeed. 
Alrighty, and they're hauling off that over there. You guys are taking over the- yep, and Swag's over here just um, smelting that metal away, which is good. Good job, Swag. Uh, food is still kind of low, but um, we are definitely coming about it here. And how about we do a little bit of a um, green sun lamp? <laughs> you know, since, you know, it's a hydroponics area, man. It's gonna be like green. Mother Nature green, man. I think this will do it. So, somebody build that suit enough. And our metal supplies back up. So that goes to 694 now. Look at that shit, man. That's awesome. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. Alrighty, and we can still mine a bit more in here for some more metal. So, let's actually might as well take advantage of that and mine through there. Alrighty, one build is disconnected. That's the front door. And then Guinea is uh, not doing anything right now. Guinea, what can I get you to do, man? Uh, guinea, 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 guinea. Uh, constructing, repair, not growing, mining at two. Yeah, well, I mean, he does stuff. He just has nothing to do right now, per se. Okay, so either way, we still do have to start building a few more rooms, obviously, and mine out a bit more. So since right now it's kind of like dead time, slow time, we could essentially start worrying about expanding a bit further about. So how about, um... Well, we're going to need more rooms down through here, that's for sure. Oh, you know what? There's actually metal here, isn't there? Okay, let's actually really quickly grab this metal if we can as well. There's somebody sleeping there right now, so that's actually pretty good. So we'll have this kind of mined out and ready and get all the metal out of there. And then we'll rebuild it. And luckily nobody's using that room right now. That's gonna be a bit more metal for us in here, so not too worried about that. Batman failed to recruit Slyld. That's gonna be Slyld's room. We're kind of uh, tearing down Slyld's room right now. Alrighty, so metal's going back up quite easily. No big deal. And also this rock debris over here is being turned into metal, so that's not bad at all. Growing. Um, is everything being, uh... Not growing now, it needs to be brightly lit. It needs to be brightly lit. Okay, so there's some stuff. Everything over here is good. It's the guys down here. Why is this guy not, um... Oh, I think it's because he's not... He needs to be further down a bit. Okay. So, let's see. Furniture. Uh, let me do a green standing lamp. Not a green standing lamp, but a green sun lamp. We have this set up like, uh, let's see, three, right? So if I put them right here, this will do it? Yeah, this should do it. And let's just see construct this guy over here. Okay, and as soon as that one is constructed again, boom, that should get everybody correctly. Not growing now, it needs to be brightly lit. What the fuck are you talking about, man? What is this big light over here? Not growing now needs to be brightly lit. What? All right, let me give it a few more seconds to kind of do its thing. Is it is are these lamps kind of bugged where they don't like actually light up the area? That sucks. If it's so, man, I kind of wanted to have like a little green hydroponic section. Oh, that's a pain in the ass if that's the case, man. A little bit heartbreaking, honestly. Not growing now needs to be brightly lit. Needs to this one. Yeah, it's these three guys over here. One, two, and three that aren't being brightly lit. That's a goddamn shame. Uh, what are you guys doing over here? No, oh, Herb Babel actually sleeps here. My bad. <laughs> My bad, Herb. I forgot you slept there. Never mind. That's not Sly Lid's room after all. Uh, zone. Uh, mind this out over three here. <laughs> Herb Babel's just kind of like, what the fuck happened to my room, man? I was gone for a second. I come back and it's like a clusterfuck of nothingness anymore. Alrighty, so set that up. Alrighty, good. And now we could pretty much set the stone wall back up for Herb. Don't worry, Herb, your room is uh, intact again. Okay, so we did get all the metal that was around there for sure. It doesn't help us out. And is this still. Yeah, this thing is still bugging out. Now, is that because something else is over here, like covering it? I don't think that's the case. I think it's just bugging out on me. But then again, this would. Oh, it needs to be brightly lit. And that. Okay, yeah, yeah. So this doesn't work. Sunlamp idea, good idea, but does not work, so unfortunately I'm going to have to bring you down, sir. And let me go ahead and just set up a regular sunlamp over here. That's a shame, man. That's a shame. Oh, nope, not right there. Sunlamp, sunlamp. Alright, let's set you up right through there. That's a shame, that's a shame. I wanted that to be to be green, I guess. Give it that whole, like, uh, nature plant type of feel to it. How about now? Yep, now it's good. Yeah, so I guess the green sun lamps, unfortunately, are a little bit bugged. 
So I'm not going to use that for now. At least for the regular sand lamps, not a big deal because, you know, you're just going for the color, not really trying to harvest my people. I don't think we are anyway, so... Alright, for so for now, pretty good, pretty good. So how about we just end the episode here today, guys? Um, metal is good again. Food is going to be going coming in pretty nicely now that we have a few more hydroponic sections going on. And um, otherwise, oh yeah, we have to equip some of these sweet ass guns. Look at this, man. Look at all these guns. Oh, the revolver. That's right. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot all about this. Alright, so next episode we'll equip some of these guys and we'll probably also set up the turrets now. Because we have the metal for the turrets and we also have the power for it because we have, we're loading up a lot on power. The only really thing that's kind of bothering me is the food. And we'll also come and actually burn these bodies that need to be burned away as well. But either way, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, I encourage you to click that thumbs up button. The support really does mean a lot. And once again, I will catch you next time.